Hello, and welcome to A Priori Story Timeless. I'm here with Paco on my left, and on my right is Paco. <laughs> it's nice of you to say hi. Today we'll be reading a tale um, from the Witoto. And uh, I thought I'd start with a poem uh, that's uh, relevant here. And this is by uh, Luis Alamea, known as Duo Poetico. And it's called the Tribute to Rafuema. Rafuema is the, uh, the, the teller of tales. <clears throat> that's a very uh, important role. So I thought we'd start with the poem. Deep in Colombia's Amazonian jungle, even today, the Huitoto tribe peacefully subsists off fishing, hunting, archaic farming, protected by the bush from our so-called civilization, able to cling to age-old traditions and rituals. Among these, today's savants interpret the Huitoto myth of creation. The father, first birthed the land, its trees, vines, and flowers, followed by the waters of seas, lakes, and rivers, clouds in the sky, lofty and low, gray, white, and blue, while in the depths of the netherworld. He created Rafuema, beholder of tales, and ordered him to voice his own description of creation. To describe the wonders, <clears throat> all kinds of animals from crickets to whales, tree eating black monkeys, fruit scavenging tapirs, bush boars, warthogs, feral piglets, birds of all chirps and colors, clouds of gnats and cicadas and other wild and domestic beasts. To me as a poet, this Huitoto myth is both transparent and exalting. For in the order of creation, after earth, sea, and sky, the father birthed Rafuema, beholder of tales. Another name for poet, bard, minstrel, troubadour. This is why I propose to elevate Rafuema to the symbolic rank of poetic deity of Colombia, land of poets. Where a giant creative circle has expanded over time, by those following his path. Cheap Chas singing lullabies to full moon mother Chia, Muisca's humming chants as El Dorado submerges, anointed with gold lust, with gold dust into frigid Lake Guatavita. The four winds resound with the battle hymns of ferocious pijaos and man-eating caribs, and cryptic mantras are endlessly repeated to the beat of tom-toms and shrills of reed flutes at Kunha fertility rites in Darian's somber swamps. Pilar, my daughter, and de facto accomplice in duo poetico, feels unique telluric links with ancient Peru. And from her home in Big Sky, Montana, she writes odes to the sun god of the Incas through Pachamama the Quechua earth goddess, and to the moon's vestals who soar over Machu Picchu. I'm blessed with similar solace and inspiration, irradiating from Rafuema and other tellers of tales, who century after century have followed his path in what is now Colombia. Daughter, let us continue this dialogue inspired by the changing of the seasons, the power of the sun, the phases of the moon, and all our indigenous heritage, paying homage to our ancestral bards, whose words still burn in our hearts, in our veins, in our souls. This is the creation account of the Huitoto of Colombia. 
in the beginning, the word gave origin to the father. A phantasm, nothing else existed in the beginning. The father touched an illusion. He grasped something mysterious, nothing existed. Through the agency of a dream, our father, Naimuena, he who is or has a phantasm, kept the mirage to his body, and he pondered long and thought deeply. Nothing existed, not even a stick to support the vision. Our father attached the illusion to the thread of a dream and kept it by the aid of his breath. He sounded to reach the bottom of appearance, but there was nothing. Nothing existed indeed. Then the father again investigated the bottom of the mystery. He tied the empty illusion to the dream thread and pressed the magical substance upon it. Thus, by the aid of his dream, he held it like a wisp of raw cotton. Then he seized the mirage bottom and stamped upon it repeatedly, sitting down at last on his dreamed earth. The earth phantasm was now his, and he spat out saliva repeatedly so that the forests might grow. Then he lay down upon his earth and covered it with the roof of heaven. As he was the owner of the earth, he placed above it the blue and the white sky. Thereupon, Rafuema, the man who has the narratives, sitting at the base of the heavens, pondered and he created this story so that we might listen to it here upon the earth thank you paco thank you paco thank you all <laughs>